Good day, good day! <laughs> How the hook are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and do I have a treat for you today? Uh, what you're looking at there is uh, something that's out of focus, so let's get it in focus here. <laughs> well, these are um, what I have as far as uh, these are Super Kings. Matchbox Super King Range Rover, uh, the K84s, and uh, 1977 Lesney product. Um, yeah, made in England. Um, I believe, uh, I, I know I believe, I bought this one uh, in the wild as, uh, uh, and I'll tag the, I did a, a video on these uh, that from Goodwill for $1.99. It was an awesome find. I'll tag the video at the end here. Still had the mirrors on it. Uh, it's missing a trail. Uh, it has a trailer to it um, and stuff like that, but awesome. There's some stuff bits missing off the top, but it's an excellent uh, addition to the um, collection. Uh, I don't remember I think I bought this one in the wild because this one's pretty beat up I think I bought that one in the wild and I think I bought this one off of eBay um, but uh, just a little backstory what we're gonna be looking at today but bam yeah we're gonna be doing something here right <laughs> uh, I got a little package uh, from eBay and we're gonna take a look at this now um, this one came from Buford GA that's uh, Georgia and uh, let's just take a look at what we've got here the, and this is uh, really kind of cool um, this is uh, actually uh, I think we're gonna do this on uh, this is a one of Wednesday I want to say yeah welcome to a one of Wednesday um, because I don't know if this I think this is what this is and uh, I don't have one uh, but it is a uh, relations to uh, these buggers that uh, you see before you. And here we go. Oh, yeah, right here it is. But bam, look at this baby here, huh? Yeah, isn't this glorious? Isn't this grand? This is it right here. Oh, I'm so excited. I've bumped into the camera and everything. All right, take a look at this. Let's just go right into it but bam so this is the matchbox super kings made in china uh matchbox international uh ltd uh and uh yeah what is that 1989 1989 so this is a different type of super kings and um i did not have one and so i paid a little bit extra for this like uh ten dollars thirteen dollars because i just did not have them i i had seen pictures uh and usually they go for a pretty expensive price let's we'll just taking a look at the uh, front bull bar there a little tweaked but uh this is no, by no means uh did i pay mint price and this is not mint and this is all right i do not mind uh play worn vehicles uh, especially when it's the one of huh uh, F38TOF. I'm not sure what that stands for, but uh, here it is. Oh, big Range Rover across the hood. Yeah, uh, non colored glass, gray interior. Check it out. Opening parts, gray interior. It is a right hooker there. Nice door. It's got some detail on the back of the door. Which, is that the number? That's the casting number. Oh my goodness. Uh, KS-164. Yeah, that's the model number. That's the king size 164. Unbelievable. I really like the the wheels in that. That is a pretty close... <laughs> they're kind of goofy, but they're close to the, the traditional uh, first um, gen aluminum tri... They got a name for it. Boy, was it tri, the tri, they're usually gray, triangle, tri mag wheels, the traditional. I love those. Uh, and the, in the real world and on this one, 
kind of a little bit goofy. Those lugs are way out there, but that's all right. It's a toy. Um, yeah, just a pretty plain base. This uh, little knob here is the key to keep it because uh, this was in a uh, came in a shadow box uh, with the clear window on it. So they uh, put it to a base like that. So, uh, but yes, it's a nice, beautiful tan color. I love tan. One of my favorite colors. Uh, it has inserts for the headlights and turn signals. Excellent, excellent. I love that. Um, this being, uh, what is this, 43rd scale, 143rd scale, they can get into a lot of more, a lot of more details. Oh, check this out. It has a uh, upper lift gate to it with the glass. It's a um, metal frame with a glass insert to it. Very nice. Now the back does not have any lens inserts. They just uh, painted, painted red. It's kind of generic there. It has the license plate again. Not sure. It does have a tow hitch. I am not sure if this uh, particular paint scheme came with, uh, you know, a horse wagon or not. I'm, I'm not really sure. Got some mud flaps in the back, which are pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the rivets. Three rivets, one in the front and two in the back there. Pretty wild, pretty wild. But, yeah, I like the... Uh, the total, the overall color of this, and then with uh, the uh, pin striping down the sides, that's pretty neat. Uh, thick and then a thinner tan. Uh, gas uh, gas cap there, gas filler. Pretty decent interior, pretty decent. Yeah, the second row seats. Oh, we didn't really see on there what they've got for... Uh, yeah, oh boy, the high back seats there, but just a nice load area. Oh, that does come down. Oh, look at there, that does come down. Pretty neat. I just uh, tried it. I'm like, hey, let's just try that. That does come down. It kind of looked like it didn't, but it does. Very, very nice. Yeah. So I, I just had to have one of these. I knew that they existed. Uh, there are several, um, and I'm just kind of flying by night here. There are several different uh, variations and paint schemes of this. And uh, boy, yeah, those uh, on the bo bottom valance there, those are lens inserts as well. Very, very nice models. Wow. I like that bull bars too. That was always kind of one of my favorite uh, ARB, I think they are. But uh, very nice detailed model, if, uh, if I could say so myself. Very pleased to add this to the collection. But a little bit bigger than these, a little bit lighter. These uh, metal base, metal body, uh, you know, kind of the, the cheesy, uh, you know, uh, matchbox wheels. But uh, yeah, just a better all model altogether, you know, just more accurate and stuff like that. So... Very kind of cool. I'm really glad to have this one in the collection. Like I say, got it off eBay. Paid a little bit uh, more for it than I, I like, but uh, I kind of stuck with it. Got over, uh, I believe, $10 with the shipping there and uh, came away with a beauty. You know, we can really kind of clean this up, but we'll probably just set it on the shelf and enjoy it like it is. But uh, yeah. All right, that's going to do it. One of Wednesday, Super King, Matchbox Super King's Range Rover. And, uh, yeah, just a beautiful model. Do you got some of these? Huh? Now what did I do to the door? I can't get the door. Oh, there it goes. Uh, do you got some of these? Boy, that's a big Range Rover right across the back there. <laughs> if you don't know what this is, you do now. All right. Do you got any of these? Let me know. Uh, one way you can let me know is come on over to Facebook and uh, join up uh, Roverland as a member and just post some pictures over there. I've uh, got a couple of people that do, and that is awesome because I do not have every variation of every car. I do not. Do I want to? Yes. Is that my goal in life? Yes, <laughs> but uh, it might take me the rest of my life to do that, and uh, well, that's what this uh, whole adventure is about, is, uh, Roverland, is getting people uh, connected together so they can uh, share their passion and uh, share um, their cars and love and, you know, just kind of a hobby, you know, just enjoying the hobby. 
All right, so uh, Instagram, we have a Roverland channel. You can check me out over there as well. And uh, yeah, so yeah, just come on over and join the club. All right, that's going to be it today for a one of Wednesday Matchbox Super Kings Range Rover. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up for this video. Subscribe and share. Subscribe for sure. All right, I'm out of here. And as always, my friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.